We're walking the streets of Youngstown, trying to find some breakfast. Made our way to the Press Coffee and Eatery. Gonna go check this place out. It's neat, it's in a townhouse. So, should be interesting. avocado toast is the real deal and so are the uh, feta scrambled eggs love it okay it was a success at the pressed coffee and eatery enjoyed that food was really really good so now we're headed back to the hotel gonna get cleaned up and then we're gonna drive to Cleveland JT hasn't been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet we're gonna take him there and let him experience that Check that out, Masonic Temple. JT says it's the Illuminati. Who knew they were in Youngstown, Ohio? Okay, this is a twist. We're headed to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and JT had to stop and take a pee. So it's zero Martin, one JT. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look, CBGBs. The Lizard King. That's some old school shit right there. Boombox, baby. The iPod changed the way music is consumed by people forever and pretty much ruined the music industry. That's the man right there. I used to be ashamed, but I'm proud to admit I actually owned that jacket as a kid and I rocked it. I rocked it. No truer words have ever been spoken. Hall of Fame scratched off the list. Now, off to Canada. Take a tour of the Hall of Fame and induction ceremony at 7 p.m. Hello. Brian Billick up there, coach number one, won a Super Bowl. Ken Island representing. Certainly a different experience from the last time I was here. This place is packed. So many things to do. All right, we're headed off now to go get some food. We're both starving. I have boundaries like in football. I have out of the securities of... It's the only way to do these things. The only way. You know what they say about big hands.
bad. JT Ray met Ray Lewis, shook his hand as he was walking through the crowd. Looked at me right in the eye. And, and scary man. What do you say? What I say? How did? Tell me about the whole interaction. <laughs> I said, thanks for winning us two Super Bowls. And he said, thanks, and kept walking. He was talking about how he was never going to wash his hand again. That was the owner of the Eagles. I just wanted to say thank you. Hey! You coordinated the tickets for this. What a pleasure. Having an absolute blast. What a pleasure. Good to see you. Thanks, thanks again, seriously. Hey, I owe you money, don't I? You do. All right, yes. how much do I owe you? A thousand dollars. Uh, what do I owe you, seriously? Forty-nine dollars. Well, There's evidence that I paid you back. Forty. Five. Forty-five. <laughs> He's got exactly. <laughs> I'm going with the whole change things. I only have forty-seven. I owe you three. <laughs> I owe you two dollars, technically. But I, you know what? I'm going to give you that extra dollar as a tip. You know him. <laughs> You subscribe, you know. Oh, please. <laughs> if I were you right now, unsubscribe until he gives me the $2. Don't, don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. <laughs>
<laughs> he pointed up to the box where all of us were in, and it let us know, like, I'm doing this for y'all. The end of an era for Ray Lewis. He goes out a champion. I am honored to present my father, Ray Lewis, for a shrine into the pro football hall of fame. Inspired to do, I have no, no idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs>